In this video, I am going to provide a justification of the formula for the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence. This is an optional video. Only watch it if you're interested in seeing where this formula comes from, okay? So remember, this is the formula that you use if you're trying to add up a finite geometric sequence, okay? Uh, and I'll just read through the formula again in the box and then I'll show you the justification. It says, if a geometric sequence has first term A1 and common ratio R, then the sum Sn of the first n terms called the nth partial sum of the sequence is given by the following. Sn is equal to A1 times 1 minus R raised to the nth power all divided by 1 minus R, okay? All right, so this is where this formula comes from. I am assuming that I have a, a finite geometric se sequence that I'm adding up to get in a finite geometric series, okay? So I'm just gonna write out the first few terms, okay? S in the nth partial sum, that means I would be adding the first n terms, okay? So that's gonna be A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus all the way to uh, a n. Okay, I'll even put the term that comes before a n. That's going to be a n minus one. Okay, so we're adding these countable number of terms. Okay, now what I'm going to do is review what we did back on page two. Okay, on page two, we derived a formula for the nth term of a geometric sequence. So if you recall what we did, we wrote out the first six terms and we did so for each term we wrote it in terms of a one and R, okay? So I'm gonna borrow this information, okay? Remember we left A1 as A1, and then we said A1, or sorry, A2 is A1 times R, and then A3 is A1 times R squared, and so on, okay? So I'm gonna plug that in, okay? So Sn is going to be, A1 is gonna stay A1, okay? So these guys match. Okay, and then I have to add A2, but A2 is the same thing as A1 times R to the first power. Okay, so this is gonna be plus A1 times R to the first power. Okay, these guys match. Okay, then I'm gonna add A3. A3 is the same thing as uh, A1 times R squared. Okay, so this is gonna be plus A1 times R squared. Okay, these guys match. Okay, and then I continue on, okay, and then I'll go ahead and put a n, okay. We came up with a formula for the nth term, okay, that's what we had at the bottom. The nth term is a1 times r raised to the n minus 1 power, okay. So this is going to be plus a1 times r to the n minus 1 power, okay. If you applied the same logic to the term that came before it, Okay, a n minus one can be written as a one times r to the n minus two power. Okay, so these guys match. Okay, and then let me get another color here. Um, I will go ahead and say color code this. These guys match. Okay, so we've just taken each term and rewritten it. Okay, uh, in terms of a one and r. Okay, so remember when math people do their derivations, okay? They always do some kind of trick to kind of make it happen, okay? So what the trick is going to be here, okay, is now I'm gonna take this line I just left off with and I'm gonna multiply everything by R, okay? That's allowed, I'm basically multiplying both sides of the equation by R. Whatever you do to one side, we have to do to the other. Okay, so I am going to take this entire statement, okay, and multiply by R, okay? So if I do it to the left side, that's gonna give me R times Sn, okay? And then I would have to multiply the entire right side by R, okay? And then you'd have to distribute the R. So what that means is every single term would be multiplied by R, okay? So we'd get A1 times R, plus, that's the yellow thing I had to multiply by R, and then this blue thing I've got to multiply by R, that's gonna give me A1 times R squared, plus multiply the green thing by R, that's gonna give me A1 times R cubed, okay? 
everything is going to go up by one. The power on R is going to go up by one on each of these. Okay, so if we get down here to the pink one, this is going to be A1 times R to the N minus one. And then this last one, the purple guy, that's going to be A1 times R to the nth power. Okay. All right. So now that we have that, okay, we are going to do another trick. Okay. We are going to subtract these guys. Okay. So I'm going to come down here. Okay. And I am going to, oops, I wrote the wrong thing. We're going to subtract, but we're going to subtract these two lines. Okay, these two lines right here. Okay, we're gonna subtract these guys. All right, so here we go. Um, let me try to realign it so it looks a little better here, uh, a little more obvious. Okay, so I've got, let's see, SN, and then I've got R times SN. Okay, so let me write it this way. I'm just gonna kind of space it out a little differently. All I'm doing is rewriting what I have. Okay, I'm just kind of realigning so it's going to be more obvious to you about what's going on here all right so here's the first statement and then now i'm going to write the second statement here um, i am going to take this term the a1 times r and write it under its matching term in the first line here okay so that's all i'm doing probably should have done that before but it didn't didn't happen all right All right, so here we go. Oops, hold on. I guess I'm just kind of misaligning here. All right, so dot, dot, dot. Okay, so then we get down here and then we'll have one term. This last term will be jutting out by itself. Okay, so we've got the two lines. I just rewrote them, okay, to kind of pair things up. Okay, and now we're gonna do the subtraction. Okay, we're doing this minus this, okay? so. This is going to tell us if we subtract the terms on the left, this is going to be SN minus R times SN, okay? What is that going to equal, okay? Well, it's going to be A1, okay? There's nothing to subtract it from down here, okay? And then in the next, the next uh, piece, okay? Remember, we do this by columns, okay? If I subtract these terms, okay? A1 times R minus A1 times R, that is going to go away, okay? And then I can do the same thing to the next pair, okay? I have A1 times R squared minus A1 times R squared, okay? These guys are gonna cancel out and go away, okay? And that's gonna happen in every column, okay? Um, up here, okay, I don't have it written, but the next term after A1 times R squared would be A1 times R cubed, okay? This minus this, Okay, these two guys, okay, they are going to end up canceling out. Okay, so this will go away. Okay, and that keeps happening across the board. Okay, when we get to the end, okay, here's the term before the last. Okay, again, we've got a matching set. Okay, we have positive a1 times r to the n minus 1 power. When we subtract the same thing, okay, they will ultimately go away. Okay, when we get to this last term, okay, there is nothing up here in this first line, and then we'd be subtracting this piece. Okay, so it's going to come down. We're going to have a1 minus a1 times r to the nth power. Okay, so by doing that little trick of taking the first line and then multiplying the whole thing by r and then subtracting the two we get rid of a lot of the stuff on the in the middle, okay? So we are left with the sum of the first n terms minus r times the sum of the first n terms is equal to a1 minus a1 times r to the nth power, okay? Remember what the end goal is here. It's kind of difficult because we've, we've done so much already. We're trying to for, find a formula for sn, okay? I'm showing you where this formula for SN comes from, okay? So what I'm left with is a statement that can actually be solved for SN, okay? In the next step, on the left side, both terms have an SN, I'm gonna factor that out, okay? We're gonna be left with one minus R, okay? On the right side, both pieces have an A1, 
I'm going to factor that out. I'm going to be left with 1 minus r to the n. Okay. All right. Again, I am trying to solve for sn. Okay. Um, I need to get it by itself. Okay. r is the common ratio. It's just a number. So 1 minus r is just some quantity that it's being multiplied by. So we can divide it off. Okay. We're going to divide both sides by 1 minus r. Okay. So we're going to get a1 times 1 minus r to the nth power. That's going to be the numerator. The denominator is going to be 1 minus r. Okay. And look what we have arrived at. Okay. That's our formula that is in the box. Okay. So this is where this particular formula comes from.